in today's video i'm going to be telling you six different rabbit breeds you can actually start with six best rabbit breeds you can actually start with in your farm or you can actually get in your farm or as a pet owner you can actually get this breed six different types that are very very good for rabbit breeding so stick to the end of this video so that you don't make any mistake when getting your rabbit breeds if this is your first time coming across our channel please do well to subscribe like this video turn on the bell notification so that when we post a video like this you will get notified as you all have seen the breed on the screen is a new zealand white rabbit when i say new zealand new zealand has different kinds there is what we call the new zealand white there's what we call the new zealand red and there is also the new zealand black so what we are specifically talking about here is the new zealand white rabbit the new zealand white rabbit is a large rabbit with an average weight of four to five kg new zealand white rabbit has an upright ears and heads abroad New Zealand white rabbit is very very good for meat production. In fact, record have it that New Zealand white rabbit is one of the best meat rabbits. It gives birth to about 6 to 12 kids in one litter. Even more. So when you want to go into meat production, you can actually consider sticking to the New Zealand white rabbit because it's actually a very very good one. The next breed we are going to be looking out for the California rabbit, also known as California white. This is a breed of ra rabbit that the features show pure white body, black ears, black nose, black feet, and black tail. This breed of rabbit can weigh about 3.5 to 4.8 kg. The California rabbit is classified as the second most popular rabbit breed and can give birth to an average of 5 to 12 kids in a litter. This California rabbit is actually one of the best rabbit breeds that you can go into if you are going into rabbit for meat production because as you can see from what I already earlier said, it is actually classified as one of the very good breeds for meat production. So if you are into rabbit farming for meat production, you should also consider getting the California white rabbit. The next rabbit breed we are going to be talking about is the American chinchilla rabbit. The American chinchilla rabbit has a gray fur, as you can see on the screen, and a stocky body. And it can grow to about 4 kg of weight. This breed of rabbit is good for meat production. The American chinchilla rabbit can give birth between 6 to 10 kids at a litter. This breed of rabbit is very very fast growing and you will need to try this breed of rabbit if you don't already have it in your farm or as a pet owner, this breed of rabbit is also very very good for pets. The American chinchilla rabbit grows very very fast and rapid. It picks up growing speed at about 2 weeks. So if you don't have this breed, you should consider getting one. The next breed of rabbit I'm going to be talking about is the Angora rabbit. This breed of rabbit comes in different colors. Some can be brown, some grey, but most common color is the white one. This breed of rabbit is known for its unique hairy look it has a lot of fur which is hair and it is one of the best rabbits for fur production when i say fur production that is used for wool yes production of wool this particular rabbit breed is actually very very good after this wool has been processed it can actually be used to produce coats, bags, or even shoes. The Angora rabbit is one of the oldest type of rabbit breed with its cute look and it also makes a very very good pet rabbit too. So if you are considering getting a pet rabbit, I will actually recommend 
the angora rabbit for you it actually a very very good pet rabbit and this particular rabbit give birth to about 8 to 12 kids in a particular litter so as the rabbit farmer you don't have this particular breed you can actually try getting one and we we'll see how it goes the next breed i'm going to be talking about is the palomino rabbit breed the palomino rabbit which has a brown like fur weighs about four to five kg this breed of rabbit is fast growing and also good for meat production the palomino rabbit was the first breed of rabbit in the united states it got its name palomino from the palomino horse because they share the same color this breed of rabbit can actually give birth to six to ten kids at a particular litter the palomino rabbit breed is, is a very very good rabbit breed because it's also known for its good parenting skills and its high disease resistance so if you are a rabbit farmer and thinking of getting a rabbit breed the palomino rabbit breed is also a very good breed you should also look out for the last rabbit breed on our list is the dutch rabbit the dutch rabbit is also known as Willanda or bradada rabbit breed this is a breed of rabbit that is easily identifiable by its color pattern divided at the middle of the body and at the middle of the head with a stripe of white mixed with either black brown or gray the dutch rabbit breed weighs an average of 1.8 to 2.5 kg of weight the dutch rabbit breed is also known for its good parenting skills and high disease resistance this particular rabbit breed actually has a very very good high disease resistance that is always hardly to get sick even if it actually gets sick they hardly die through that particular disease because their disease resistance is actually very very high the dutch rabbit breed is also a very good rabbit breed for pets and can give birth to about four to eight kids in a particular litter note when it is crossed with a different breed entirely it can actually produce more than eight kids so thank you for watching this video and if you do learn something from this video please do well to give us a like subscribe to this channel for more rabbit tips thank you once again and do have a nice day peace out